Chibzy, don't try to punk me. You know what time it is? Welcome to the Legacy of Nerd. My name is Daniel, and today we have an interesting topic to talk about. So, unless you're living under a rock today, you notice that there was an announcement that there is going to be a new Mortal Kombat movie coming out titled Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, rumored to be like a retelling, uh, starting the game all over, starting the timeline all over again, and starting from the very beginning. Well, how is that relevant to Power Rangers? Well, it has been reported that Jean-Claude Van Damme will be making an appearance in the game as he is based off of Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage was actually based off of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme was supposed to appear, uh, be the model for Johnny Cage in the first game, but he had to turn it down. So I think he was working with a competing video game or something like that, but he is going to be in Mortal Kombat 1. Again, how is that relevant? Well, Jason David Frank almost had to take down Jean-Claude Van Damme one time. It's a crazy story. It's a few that had gone on years, and it's crazy to think about. So apparently it began in 1995. Jason David Frank had said that he was a fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme's movies. He had looked up to him. He thought he was a good martial artist and liked his movies. Basically, he thought he was a cool guy. He met him in 1995, and apparently he was not impressed. Uh, he reported that Jean-Claude Van Damme was actually very rude to him. And he just left it at that sort of a don't meet your heroes moment for Jason David Frank. And no doubt it probably had a big effect on him and how he treated his fans to make sure that they never felt how he felt meeting Jean-Claude Van Damme. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was a big motivation on how great he was with his fans. So fast forward a little bit, 2010, 2011, a lot of you guys know that Jason David Frank was doing some MMA fights and I believe he had two fights and then he won both fights. But he was challenging different people at that time. He was challenging CM Punk, he challenged Herschel Walker, and then he challenged Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, <laughs> he was, I know he was making challenges. I think that Jean-Claude Van Damme was very specific. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure why he selected Jean-Claude Van Damme to fight, but I'm sure it had something to do with their encounter in 1995. So fast forward to 2017. They are both at a con in Mexico. The con is over, the day is over, they're in the back, there's a celebrity area where they could go back, hang out, eat food, chill out. And apparently Jean-Claude Van Damme was egging Jason David Frank on and apparently was instigating talking mess and... Jason David Frank was getting very, very irritated. So it got to a point where they were like nose to nose. Jason David Frank backed up Jean-Claude into a wall. And Jean-Claude Van Damme apparently was backing down. Uh, Jason David Frank said he was basically saying, let's go, let's go, you're ready. And Jean-Claude Van Damme was just being quiet, didn't know what to do. At this point, you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme is a pretty old guy, but he is a capable fighter, I would imagine. And Jason David Frank, we all know how capable he was in martial arts and how he was a master and definitely a challenge <laughs> to be in a fight with for sure. But Jean-Claude Van Damme very much so just cowered and apparently was just like, did not want anything to do with, with Jason David Frank, even though he was instigating Jason David Frank and trying to get him to hit him. And then when it time comes to get into a fight, Jean-Claude Van Damme just backs down. He just, just basically says, I don't, I, he got scared. I don't know what else to say. It, it, there was a video at the beginning of this video, that little clip where, you know, you kind of see it was about to go down, but Jean-Claude Van Damme didn't do, do nothing. So they kind of fast forward that a little bit. They talk about it over the years. Uh, Jason David Frank basically says, you know, this guy was instigating him and that, you know, he wasn't being appreciative. And then when he finally got up and challenged the guy to a fight, you know, he backed down quickly. They asked Jean-Claude what happened. And he basically said, I don't know. Like, Jason David Frank just wanted to fight me. And I don't know why. But everybody in there was, like, reporting that, like, Jason David Frank was being instigated on. So I'm not sure why Jean-Claude Van Damme said he didn't want to do that. Uh, you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme getting in a fight. You know, you watch all his movies like Bloodsport and Kickboxer and The Quest. All these things where he's in these, like dire mean situations i know they're movies but he claims to be a martial arts champion as well or at least won martial arts fights and in, in competition i don't know why he would be so afraid to go up against jason david frank 
Anyways, it's just a crazy, crazy thing. I thought it was interesting because Jean-Claude Van Damme was in the news today. Apparently, the guy's not very nice in general, you know. He's apparently not very nice to women. Uh, there's a lot of rumors about him not being very nice to fans. I don't know. I've never met him. I hope he would be nice to fans. So, yeah, that's, it's just a crazy story. Uh, actually, Jason David Frank was asked about it in 2021, just a couple years ago. And someone asked him if he would still fight uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. And basically, he said, like, he has no ill will towards the guy. He He doesn't think negatively of him. He doesn't think badly of him or anything like that. Would he do a fight? He said, yeah, he'd do a fight, but he'd do it for charity. Like, he wouldn't just go out there and just fight him, just assuming, like, you know, trying to make money off of the situation. But he said he'd do it for charity. He said he don't need money. It's not important to him. But, you know, he said I don't. he didn't know if Jean-Claude Van Damme would fight, but he knew at the time, in 2021, Jean-Claude Van Damme had been going up to MMA fighters and challenged them to fight. So he was kind of like a weird situation about it. You could tell, if you kind of find the video, you can tell that he, like... Talking about it kind of riles him up a little bit. Uh, you know, just I, I guess the idea of Jean-Claude Van Damme just kind of just bugs him a little bit, but or bugged him a little bit. But yeah, it, it's just a crazy thing. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's one of those things like, you know, it's sort of like, did you know about that? I knew I know a lot of people knew that uh, Jason David Frank had challenged uh, CM Punk, but I didn't know if anybody knew that he almost like came blows like hand-to-hand -hand combat with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I, I personally think like Jason David Frank would have got taken him down. Not only at the time that he had age, I just feel like Jason David Frank is probably a more accomplished martial artist than Jean-Claude Van Damme. There's a lot of reports that Jean-Claude Van Damme didn't really even know martial arts before he started the movies. He was just in really good shape, trained quickly, learned some moves, and that's how he got famous. There's, there's, not, there's a lot of weird stuff around Jean-Claude Van Damme, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Are you excited about Mortal Kombat? Because that's how this <laughs> whole conversation started. I am so excited about Mortal Kombat. I'm probably going to get the game. I think I've gotten every game since the second one. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 2. I, I remember Mortal Kombat 2 being my first Mortal Kombat game. So uh, this is definitely excited about the game. I don't know if I'm going to care so much about the Jean-Claude Van Damme skin. You know what, Mortal Kombat? You know what you should do? You should get a Green Ranger skin. Not only just get the Green Ranger in there, but get the Green Ranger with Jason David Frakes likeness and helmet off in the, in the suit. That'd be sweet. Just letting you know, that would sell easily. I know we got Battle for the Grid. But if you get like Jason David Frank's face going against Jean-Claude Van Damme, I get that game for sure. I make sure Jason David Frank beat him every single time. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what you all think in the comments. I should be doing a live stream this week. So uh, hopefully I, get, I need to get around to that. You guys know why if you watch the last live stream. So that's it for today. And you know what time it is. It's morphin' time.